Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co. Destiny video. Today is Friday, June 10th, 2016, which means it's Sir Day. So we're going to show you guys where he's hiding in the tower and hopefully see some nice goodies from him. So follow me. We're headed off to the right hand side now. And while we're heading there, if any of you guys are Heroes of the Storm fans, uh, Blizzard's MOBA, check out our YouTube and Twitch channel. We've been doing some casting of the Chair League Divisions. Uh, if you're interested in watching some of that, we would love to have you join us, guys. But, so over in the hangar here, we've got Zer. What do we got? Do, 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 Okay. For the Titan, we have the Glass House at... Oh, shit. Uh, glass house at intellect the 47 strike the 46 it seems a little low uh blessing of light and weapons of light last longer that's always nice if you're playing defender increasing the electric strength inverse shadow gain super energy from killing minions of the darkness and second thoughts gain super energy from special weapon kills on minions of the darkness and better already shield start recovery immediately after or pick up um the increase special increase works nicely with the bathe of the light uh, so like I said, great one if you want to play a defender. It just keeps those perks running longer and longer for your team. For the hunter, we have the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets, strength 63. Taking melee damage makes you briefly invisible. Increased discipline of strength. Switchblade decreases melee attack cooldown time. Impact induction grants bonus grenade energy on melee hits. Scout Rifle Reloader, Sniper Rifle Reloader. Uh, I like the Switchblade on this, especially if you're playing a Blade Dancer with... Um, never mind, ignore me. I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. But yeah, this is a great one if you're trying to sneak through somewhere. The melee hit is great. Uh, for the Warlock, we have the Ram. Discipline 49, Strength 48. Gain increased armor. All Voidwalker melees trigger lifesteal on hit. Increased discipline, increased strength, inverse shadow for super energy on minions to kill darkness, heavy lifting, super energy from heavy weapon kills, and infusion replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of light. Um, if you like to play with Boardwalker, this can be a good one to pick up if you're going to be meleeing a lot to keep getting that lifesteal going on and the survivability. Um, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite from the side of the Warlocks. For the weapon this week, we have the Red Death Pulse Rifle. This one has kinetic damage, unflinching, it's easier to aim under fire, oh, well, high caliber round, single point sling, and the Red Death Perk. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads. Um, I quite enjoy the Red Death. It gives you a little bit more survivability, especially in PvE, as you'll be getting lots of kills which means lots of health back. Um, it's a fun one to play with. I've seen it used in PV, PvEP as well. Um, people are starting to like pulse rifles in there also. Our legacy engram this week is a special weapon engram, and for Kiros, we've got Plasma Drive, Emerald Coil, Heavy Ammo Synthesis, Three of Coins, and Glass Needles. And then we've got our Mixture Exchange for the Motes of Light. So that's what we've got this week. I won't be picking anything up. I do have all these already, and none of the stats are looking super high compared to what I've got. But I want to hear down in the comments below, what are you picking up? Are you just getting three coins and heavy ammo like normal, or is something piqued your interest? Do you like that red death, grabbing your hands on it, or something else? These are all older items from pre-year two. So you might have had them already, but... I want to hear what you're grabbing. Throw it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to smash that like button and check us out on our favorite social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Tumblr, Instagram, Reddit, Vote, all that fun stuff. We have a presence across the board. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to the channel for updates of when our new content goes live. We are here four times a week for you guys on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. So we hope you uh, enjoy the content and keep coming back. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you all next time.